Yeah, hi everybody. Welcome back to Tea and Comfort with Margaret and Roshan. Um, it's a beautiful day here, a little windy, but um, we're here just to give you this word of comfort. For today, yeah. So actually, we were talking earlier and honestly today I was just having one of those days. I think I woke up on the wrong side of the bed and just was feeling kind of irritable and just um, under the under the weather. Under the weather. Well, not under the weather, because I'm healthy. I'm fine. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Um, but just kind of grumpy today. So I'm sure we've all had those. Things. I can attest to that. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, um, anyway, so man, she, mom's got the word of comfort that I need to hear today too. So. Yeah, I know. Well, I, you know, during the night I woke up a couple of times, and I and the word resist was just on my mouth and it's like the Lord is speaking to me on this word resist and I thought well that's not a very comforting cheery word Lord <laughs> you know, resist but he said like Roshan has a bad day or not so good day I have those I'm sure most of us do and especially in these times yeah. that we're living in because sometimes it's hard to be joyful yeah. in all this what's going on it's sometimes it's so quiet you wonder if anything is going on and then everything is going on and then we had <laughs> bombs in Beirut or wherever yeah, I mean them. it's just terrible the things that are going on in the world so there's not a lot of joy that you see around you yeah it's easy to get negative it <laughs> is it all. And, <laughs> and that's why when I heard the, the you know the Lord speak resist and I'm thinking okay Lord there's only one scripture I know <laughs> that has to do with resist and the only way we can resist we have an enemy we yeah. we've talked about our enemy so many times before our enemy is Satan the devil he wants to destroy us and all this stuff that's going on and that we don't see and that we do see it could tend to destroy that joy that yeah. we know so <laughs> The scripture is in James, the fourth chapter, and it says, draw near to God, resist the devil, and he will free, flee from you. So there's only one way to get your spirits up is to rejoice in the Lord, resist the devil, because it's the only way. We can't do it on our own. Yeah. We're, we're, the, we're in the flesh. Drawing near to God is a spiritual thing. Resisting the devil is a spiritual thing because he's an enemy and he's a spiritual powerful enemy and we need to get him out of our lives and every day every day every day he's always at us yeah. trying to get in us the down. way yeah and just to draw near to God what does that look like well it's either turn on some gospel music you know just some good Christian music or for me it's getting into his word or mm -hmm. spending time in prayer um, and right away immediately that will just to remove all the other troubles, worries, concerns Amen. in your head. I know for me, and I think that's probably part of why I was like that today, because I really <laughs> didn't have that quality time for myself, right. drawing near to God and just having that devotional time with Him. Um, and when you draw near to God, you feel the joy that He yeah. brings us. <laughs> because the Word also says the joy of the Lord is our right. strength. Jesus had joy when he went to that cross for us, to die for us. And we should have joy in knowing that, that we are saved, we are blessed. We have eternal life to look forward to with the Lord through all of this stuff that we don't know what's happening and what's going on. And I pray that thousands and thousands of people will come to know the Lord through preachers who are preaching outside. The, they're not in the buildings anymore, but they're preaching outside and people are coming to know the Lord. So, and their lives are gonna be changed and your life will be changed right. too if you give it to Jesus. Yeah. He says, lean on me, trust me. I've got you. I've got this. Yeah, I'm in control. Right. So that's but, it. That's our yeah. good word for you today. It it's is. Just, so don't worry. Yeah. Be blessed. Draw near to him and yeah. keep, yep, just keep him in your heart. He loves you. He loves you. He that's loves our message. You. Yes. yes. God we love you. you.